What's happening, everybody? It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington, and I'm here with the news story that's wow. That's all I can say is wow. For those who don't know, on top of doing movie and TV reviews, hosting podcasts and whatnot, I'm also a stand-up comic. I've been blessed to hit the stage for close to 10 years around the country, work with a great amount of people, and do a lot of phenomenal things subsequently because of it. Now, one thing I haven't had the opportunity for that I am always looking for is to take my talents to that next level, to showcase on network television, be it Comedy Central, HBO, Showtime, MTV, even Netflix. And I bring up Netflix because as of recently, it has opened up a door for a lot of comedians to showcase their talents on a platform that otherwise they wouldn't be able to. And recently they just released, they did the uh, the Comedians, it was a six comedian series, and then they just did the Stand-Ups, which are 15 minute specials from six different comedians. Well, Netflix has just announced that they are going to be releasing 47 stand-up comedy specials on the same day next year. What? 47? This goes under the umbrella of you doing too much. Listen, I understand that you want to make sure you have a platform. You love comedy. You love its content. A lot of your original content you've been producing has comedic element and comedic tones to it. And yes, you want to get in that stand-up comedy game. And again, as a comedian, I love it. That Yes. But 47 in one day? A lot of people are going to get looked over unfortunately this is that's what i initially thought a lot of people would be looked over but then i found out they're doing a lot of international with it as well so many comedians are going to tape their sets this year at up, the upcoming montreal just for last comedy festival it's one of the biggest comedy festivals in the country god knows i've been busting my ass to get it i have many people on twitter facebook even here have asked when will you be at jfl when will you be doing the bigger things Here's the problem. I'm not represented by anybody for stand-up. Everything you see Jay Washington do, Jay Washington does by himself. So if I get that opportunity, if I keep making enough noise, hopefully and God willing, because everybody knows I'm a praying man, that door will open for me. Back to the festival. At this festival, they're going to take 47 half-hour sets from comedians from the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the Middle East, um... Sao Paulo, Mexico City, Mumbai, Berlin, and Amsterdam. This is going to result in specials in a bunch of languages, such as French, Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic, Dutch, German, and English. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We're, we're at a point now where comedians are having some pushback. Some comedians, not all. There are a lot of comedians who are, who are super supportive, super proud of their comrades and colleagues doing what they're doing. I'm one of them. But I'm also one of the ones who feels like, yo... You can't just keep throwing out specials and calling them special because they don't have that value anymore. When Comedy Central had Premium Blend and all these other different avenues, yes, when you call it that, that is something that is a difference. That makes it, like, unique. But calling everything a special, it's not a special. If that makes sense again. They were giving out our specials uh, to a lot of comedians, and a lot of people had a lot of feedback, like, how did this person get it? How did that person get it? Well, a lot of people are connected. And honestly, it's not hard to film your special for Netflix. All you have to do is have the frame rate um, shot with a minimum three cameras, closed caption, and a great venue, great venue, light and sound. And if it's packaged well, send it off and see what they do with it. They may buy it from you. But 47 in one day? I, I, I understand this. Yes, you. no one is going to watch all 47 in one day, and you can potentially go through all the different ones. And again, there are different languages, so many people won't relate to various comedians. But my concern becomes, is Netflix oversaturating itself with comedy? Is it getting to the point where it will be overwhelmed with stand-up, where no one wants to go visit it anymore? Because when stand-up is bad in certain elements, it affects those of us who are just on stage. Those who perform at bars, comedy clubs, and so many different places, etc. So I just don't know yet. Hearing that news, I had to come out here to you guys and get your opinions on it, okay? Let me know your thoughts on the comments below. Like, subscribe, click on the notification bell, man. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. J Washington. That's M R J A Y W A S H I N G T O N. You are joining my Patreon. Join the Supervillain Squad, y'all. Patreon.com slash Mr. J Washington. $5. A whole lot of content is coming specifically to the Supervillain Squad, and I want you to be a part of that, okay? I will holler at you guys later. Take care. I'm out of here. Peace.